If you use Google Chrome, this might just be the best productivity tool for browsing. Chrome by itself isn't very good for getting work done. You're constantly getting notifications, switching between two dozen tabs, and your privacy is being sold when you use the Chrome browser. But with the tool I'm going to share with you, you can have the ultimate productivity browsing experience. This deal is available on AppSumo and will be going away soon. So if you think you ever need a tool like this, then keep watching and consider picking this one up. And this video is sponsored by AppSumo, who lets me pick out which tools I want to test out from their website. I only make videos about the tools that I would personally use and I think are worth sharing. So this is Sidekick. It's a productivity browser for focused work because I didn't actually plan on giving up Google Chrome for a different browser. I like having all my extensions on Google Chrome. I've been using it for years. It's what I know. It's what I'm comfortable with. So when I saw that there was a new browser tool available, I really wasn't planning on giving it a second thought because I wasn't ever going to give up Google Chrome. But this browser is built on top of Google Chrome and it adds a lot of powerful features features that I honestly don't think that I'm going to be giving up anytime soon. I actually plan on continuing to use this browser tool on a daily basis because it has a lot of features that just make the browsing experience using Chrome so much better. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite features in this video. And this browser is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So what exactly is Sidekick? So if we scroll down, we can see what this tool is all about. What Sidekick does is help you protect your attention and your data. It's very fast. Sidekick is three times faster than Chrome thanks to tab suspension and memory memory optimization, Sidekick blocks data grabbing ads and trackers, and they never sell your data, unlike Chrome. And then it's also streamlined. So it provides quick access to apps, docs, messenger, search, and for those who work in a browser. So anybody who does work using a browser, this is a tool that you would find value from. So you can actually see I've got some of my frequent tools that I use on the left hand side here that I'm constantly swapping and usually have a tab open in Chrome for things like Gmail, Google Drive, Calendar. I even have my project management tool up based on here. I have two different YouTube accounts, one for personal and one for my business channel. And you can see that everything's grayed out because I actually have mute notifications. If I click on this, you can see everything brightens up. And if I had any notifications on my email, for example, they would show up here. You can do things like eradicate tab clutters. You can see that I have a bunch of different tabs tabs open because I am recording a bunch of videos talking about different tools right now. But you can see I can open up the different types of sessions that I have available. And if I click on this one, for example, production, this is my production tab. So these are all the tabs that I would use if I am just dealing with maybe coming up with different videos in the future. And I can grow back and let's say I just want to do some browsing. I can use this session just for searching for whatever I want. You know, maybe I'm just using Google on here and I'm browsing the web where I can go back to all of these tabs that are dedicated for and I can go back over to my production session where these are all the tabs related to that specific thing that I was working on. The split view feature, like as the name suggests, allows you to be able to split between two different tabs. So if I go over to the top over here and click on the split view, I can choose whatever other tab I want to show. And I'm going to show you, let's say, AppSumo over here. Now I'm showing you AppSumo on the right and we've got this one on the left. If I want, I can just take this tab and move it over. And now I've got the Sidekick website over here on the right and I've got AppSumo on the left. If I want to disable the split screen, I just click on this and it'll take us back to that tab. While we're here, I'm just going to show you the deal on AppSumo and what it entails. So this is Sidekick. It's a lifetime deal. They have 57 reviews currently and the lowest tier is $49. If we scroll down, we can see what are the different tiers that are currently available and what you get. So with all of the tiers, you get lifetime access to the Sidekick browser. You can also upgrade to future tier plans. If the the plan name changes, the deal will be mapped to the new plan with all accompanying updates. There's no codes, there's no stacking, just choose the plan that's right for you. You can upgrade between the three licenses while the deal is available. Once the deal is gone, you won't be able to upgrade or downgrade. This deal is also only for Sidekick users who do not have an existing account. So if you have already been using Sidekick, maybe create a new email or use a different email and get this deal because it is a pretty good deal. With the tier one plan, you get all the features above plus one user and the built-in VPN. So you don't have to pay for NordVPN anymore for 50 $9, you're going to have a VPN built right into this. For the tier two plan, you get five users, you get pre-installed apps, you get team roles, as well as being able to share apps. And then for the tier three, you can have up to 20 users. Just to show you how much Sidekick is if you didn't get the lifetime deal plan, if you go over to the website, click on Sidekick Pro and scroll down, you can see that the tool is actually free to use. So you can have five sidebar apps, 10 apps in total, two sessions, add and tracker blocker, global search across apps, docs and messengers, AI tab suspender, and basic customer support.
support, so you get a lot of features for the free version, which is really nice. But if you want, you could get even more with Sidekick Pro. And if you were to pay monthly, you'd be paying $12 a month to be able to get these features. So $12 a month is what you could expect to pay for the Pro version. But if you got the AppSumo deal, even just the $49 one, you would be able to basically have the Pro version pay for itself in just a few months. The deal is no longer available on AppSumo. I'll include a link to the best deal that is currently available, maybe directly from the site, or maybe it does come back on AppSumo. If you want to be able to find out when it does come back, you can subscribe to my newsletter where I'll share the best deals if a deal comes back on AppSumo or if the company actually has a special lifetime deal or a special offer available. I'll try to keep everybody up to date with software that they are interested in. Going back to the feature section, they have a global search in command. So if I open up a new tab here, you can see that there is a search bar and I can literally search for anything. If I look up tools, I can see one of my files that I use, which is tools for business or any of the other things like my outlines for videos. I can see those. I can see things that I've actually searched before, things like on Reddit. What are some of the tools which you guys think are essential for SaaS? Some Amazon list things that I've maybe looked up. So anything that I have searched in Chrome, it's going to be able to pull that history up and give me the things that I either frequently use or things that I'm specifically looking for. Let's say tools for YouTubers. You can see some of the things that I have looked up maybe in the past, things like discover the best tools for YouTubers, things like this, or tools for SaaS. So that's a pretty useful feature that I have been using. Going back to the features list, when we scroll down, you can see that we can actually create tasks. So there's a powerful built-in task manager to organize your day and priorities, pin a task to your desktop and never forget a thing, run a Pomodoro timer to manage your work and rest cycles. I've been using this tool called Suko, which is a focus and Pomodoro timer because it allows me to put specific tasks and I can focus on a specific task for a specific session. I don't think Sidekick can completely replace Suka, but it is nice because when you click over here on this little section and then you go to the tasks, you can just have whatever tasks that you need right here. You can see some example tasks that have been created. So we could put whatever the task and add a note. And it's just a nice way to be able to focus on specific things for the day. Go ahead and hide this again. We're going to scroll down. Another component that Sidekick helps you with is focus and ADHD. So things like a distraction blocker. You can replace bad habits with productive ones, set your own redirection rules, and switch back to task list email automatically when trying to access YouTube or social media. So you can see we can create our own distraction blocker for a specific time and for specific websites. And whenever we're trying to click on one of those URLs, it's just going to redirect us back to the thing that we should be focusing on, which is our work. Next feature is keep your focus. So you can transform your tab filled browser into a sleek single window to stay focused on work, block all notifications and concentrate on the task at hand. So you can see I've actually been using that. You can see I actually disabled my notifications just so I could record this video. So if I click on unmute, you can see all my specific applications right here. If I click on this, it'll pull up my email or if I clicked on YouTube, pull up my YouTube for business, any of the notifications that I would receive, they would show up over here. Or if I just wanted to, again, mute it for a specific time for one hour, I could just do that as well. This next feature is an AI powered ad blocker. So now you can watch YouTube ads free without premium subscription. Our ad block 2.0 blocks ads and trackers by the thousands. No ads equals faster browsing. So I'll actually open up a new incognito tab and then we'll go to YouTube. And then I'm just going to click on a random video, let's say my channel. And then if I click on this video, you're going to see some ads sponsored one of two, but nothing is showing. So I can't actually see any of the sponsored content, but I still do have to click on skip. So in the case of YouTube, I don't think Sidekick is going to be replacing your YouTube premium if you use that, but it'll just silence the ads. If I go to Google and I look up, let's say news, and we were to click on any of these articles, typically you'd see a bunch of ads on this website. You just kind of get inundated with ads. So I'm just kind of scroll down and see, you know, there's the advertisement. I don't see the advertisement anymore. Scrolling down. Yeah, all the ads are hidden, which I guess is pretty nice. I don't necessarily care to see a bunch of ads all over the place. So that is a pretty cool feature. Another feature is the calendar integration. So never miss an important meeting by receiving a reminder two minutes before it starts. No more anxiety. You don't have to check your clock or calendar all the time. I don't know if this is a really big issue for most people because I get my notifications directly from my Mac notifications. So my Mac has my calendar just integrated with it. So it tells me whenever there's a meeting, I don't necessarily need my browser to tell me, but I don't know, maybe it's different for you. This next feature set is for performance and privacy. So there's this thing called a tab suspender. So the tab suspender is an AI based tab suspender and memory optimization makes Sidekick three times faster than any other browser. Sidekick works equally fast whether you have five or 500 tabs open. 
So you can see here how many blocked ads happened, how many blocked requests, and how much memory you have saved from all of your tabs. And you can see all these different applications are snoozed, and that's how much memory. So if I click on this new tab, this is what your homepage looks like. It's blocked 547 ads for me so far. I've got 25% blocked requests, so share of all blocked requests to trackers and ad networks. And then I've saved 1.4 gigabytes of saved memory. So Sidekick uses AI to analyze and offload unused tabs. So a lot of memory that happens when you are using Chrome, but when you're using Sidekick, it'll essentially turn off the tab. That way you're not slowing down your PC. That's a very powerful feature. Scrolling down some more on the features, we have the fingerprint defense and VPN. Our anti-tracking tech randomizes data used by fingerprint algorithms, making it very difficult to link your visits to specific websites and build your behavior profile. Additionally, Sidekick Teams plan has an inbuilt VPN that conceals your IP altogether. Tracking you is now next to impossible. What's honestly really cool about Sidekick is that you can have your VPN only for specific websites. Let's say, for example, you don't want to run a VPN all the time and you just want to use it for, let's say, Netflix. You could have the VPN just running on Netflix or let's say any banking websites. That way people aren't able to track when you are going to those specific places. And this last set of features is for organized your life. So sessions, eradicate tab clutter with sessions. This tool helps you group, save, and open tabs without the mess. Stay focused on a project without being distracted by irrelevant tabs. Clean your tab, strip, and save your research for later. This is one of the primary tools that sold me on Sidekick. Like I showed you earlier, if I open up my different sessions, I can, let's say, go over to browsing, and now all my tabs are gone, and I'm just, let's say, browsing for whatever reason. If I want to go to my production sessions, now I have all things related to production, like my video timeline, my tools for business, whatever other tabs I might have open for that specific purpose. And then I can go back to, let's say, my recording session where I am talking about specific tools and I'm recording, might have a bunch of tabs open for this specific session. But sessions is really a game changer. This feature is called Workspace, so you can separate side projects from everyday routine and your life from work. Create different spaces for any purpose. Your workspaces will have their own accounts, cookies, tabs, apps, and settings. So to create a new workspace, you can see here on the left-hand side, I have all my applications and I, I typically blend my personal and my business together. But let's say I had a job and after I finished my work day, I just never was going to interact with those applications again. What I can do is click on the top right and you can create a new workspace. So you can see here we can do one, let's say job test and then create that. And now I can add in all my applications that I would want on the left hand side. So let's say I use Airtable, add that application. And then let's say I had Asana and I could add that application. And you can see when I'm adding these applications, it gives me the ability to add in multiple accounts. So when you have the pro account, which is the lifetime deal on AppSumo or directly from Sidekick, you can add multiple accounts. So if I go back to my other workspace, you can see I have my personal stuff and then I also have my business stuff. So I just have different images for my business email and my personal email. And I also have different YouTube. I have a different YouTube for my personal and a different one for my business. I also have different accounts on Slack. So I've got my business one and a different business Slack. So that's something that you can do with the pro version. This feature is called collections and it allows you to organize your docs and bookmarks with powerful collections and share them with your team or friends to create a knowledge base that is always with you on every device. So if I click on the left hand side over here, we have the collections and tabs and I have this collection section. Now, I haven't been personally using this feature because I don't keep a lot of bookmarks anyways. There's only specific websites that I go to and I'll just kind of keep them open and I'll just go back to them every day. But if I wanted to, I could have a folder that is for, let's say, my editing team and I could have specific websites or links for my video editors and I could share that with them. That way they could have access to all of those. Or let's say there's a specific document that I want to share with them. I could then have that document linked in a folder and then invite my team to be able to to access those documents. Now, I personally use a project management tool for sharing a collection of different links and documents or whatever with my team, but I definitely see the utility for different types of business owners for sharing a collection with a team and being able to share a browser like Sidekick so that way everybody is on the same page with their collections and passwords and stuff like that. Just to show you some other interesting things, if you click on the show help section, they have this getting started guide so you can see all the different things for getting started with the app. I actually went through this myself so I could get familiar because when I did start using Sidekick, Sidekick. I was a little bit overwhelmed at first, but after going through this help document and playing around with some of the different features, I quickly started to understand how to be able to use this tool and it became very fluid. I started using the shortcuts like for the sessions to be able to go through and being able to use these shortcuts just makes it really easy. So you don't need to have this little thing pulled up anymore. Once you know what type of features you use more heavily, you can use those shortcuts for it. So for example, I like to use the sessions one, or there's also this one where you can go through all your different applications and just kind of quickly tab through them just like such. And you can 
see that these applications are separate from the tab. So if I was to click on this, now my email is gone. But if I want to go back to my email, I can just either use the shortcut and go back to my email, or I could go to this Google Drive, go back to the email. I can change my session like such, just going down and clicking on, let's say, the production, and just like that. Clicking on show settings, we have things like the appearance, ad blocker, CPU monitor, tab suspender, privacy, other distraction blocker, integrations, and your account. If we scroll over to the top left, you can see here, we can hide the vertical tabs. So hiding the vertical tabs, and let's hide that session. So now this is clean. If I wanted to, I could show the vertical tabs up there or hide them and then show the sidebar. And then if I wanted to open up the collections, I can just click on that and that'll stay open unless I hide that as well. And I have all my Google extensions. So again, it's built on top of Google. So it has all the features that you would want with Google. This ad block is pretty cool. If I click on this, you can see I can uncheck for blocking ads. So if I wanted ads to show up, I could just click on this and now I'll be able to get ads on AppSumo. Or if I click on that, now there's no more ads. And this is the same with Google, but you have that addition of the workspace. So I could add another workspace and let's just say this is again my job. Now I've got all my apps that are dedicated for that specific thing. So you can have one account and have multiple workspaces. So if I wanted to add any specific tools for a job, for example, I could do that. And then if I click on the top right, I can go back to my personal workspace. That's how amazing it is. So if you wanna see lifetime deals on cool new software, just like this one, before they disappear, then turn on notifications and watch this video next to see another lifetime deal before it goes away soon.